Hi, I'm George Self. This video is one in a series designed to help with Logisim Evolution Digital Logic Labs. This is lab number two, Boolean Equations. The purpose of this lab is to continue to become familiar with using Logisim Evolution. In this lab, you'll use subcircuits. If you have programmed with any language, you're familiar with functions or subroutines. These are bits of code that you can create, troubleshoot, and make work as efficiently as possible. Then put them away and use them wherever you need in the main program. Subcircuits are similar. You create a subcircuit, troubleshoot it, make it as efficient as possible, then use it in the main circuit as needed. For all of the labs in this course, the main circuit is used as the human interface, and that's where you'll find things like push buttons and digital readouts. But the sub-circuits are where the main digital logic is found. The starter circuit for this lab contains a main circuit and one sub-circuit named Equation 1. To open the sub-circuit, I'll double-click its name. Notice that now the drawing canvas shows the sub-circuit. Let's get busy building this circuit. The first thing I want to do is place three AND gates in the circuit. So I'll click the AND gate tool and I'll drop the first one here. Again, the exact placement isn't uh, important because you can move things around later. For this particular AND gate, I need to have three inputs and the input number one and input number three need to be negated. Now, how did I determine that? Well, I took a look at the at the uh, Boolean equation we're trying to create here. Notice that this is a group of three uh, inputs, A, B, and C. So I have three inputs, A, B, and C. Each AND gate needs three inputs because each of our AND gates has all three of these inputs going to them. And for the first AND gate, input A and C need to be negative. Now I know I'm going to run input A on the top leg and input B on the middle leg and input C on the bottom leg. So I can now negate input A and C right here at the AND gate. So this AND gate will be this particular um, term in the Boolean equation. I'm going to scoot this over a little bit, give myself more room. I need a second AND gate. The second AND gate will be this term, so I know that uh, inputs B and C need to be negated. So let me grab an AND gate and drop it here. And it's going to also have three inputs, and inputs B and C will be negated. Now I also know that I'm going to want input B to go right into the middle of this AND gate. So I'm going to go ahead and move input B so it's right in line with this middle input for this AND gate. And let's go ahead and place the third AND gate. And this third AND gate again needs three inputs. And in this case, all three of them are positive. None will be negated. So now I can move this input down to line up with that. I'll go ahead and wire up these three inputs. Now input A also needs to go into the top input for each of these other AND gates. So I'm going to just drop a wire down, run it across and run another one across there. Input B needs to go into the middle input for each of the AND gates. So I can do that. And input C needs to go into the bottom input for each of the AND gates. As you're building digital logic circuits, you'll find that it's useful if you will create vertical uh, runs of wires and make the very first one the first input, the second vertical run, the second input, the third vertical run, the third input. You'll see on future circuits we're going to have nine or ten inputs and it's really easy to get these vertical runs confused unless you keep them in some sort of order. 
Now I need to move my output just a little bit because I also need a three input OR gate. How do I know that? Because each of these three AND gates need to be connected by, uh, need to be connected together. So I need an OR gate. This OR gate needs three inputs and it's already set for three inputs. I connected the output and I get an error. That's because none of the inputs have been connected yet. I'm going to give myself just a little more room. So now I'm going to take this top AND gate, connect it there, the middle AND gate there, and the bottom AND gate will connect there. Now equation one is completed. I can check it out because if I have three lows going in, the output should be low. But if all three inputs are high, then the output should also go high. And it does. If it's A naught, B, C naught, A naught, B, C naught, the output is high. And finally, A, B naught, C naught. So A, B naught, C naught, the output is high. All other combinations will have a low output. Now I'm going back to the main circuit and show you what we do next. I'm going to delete this little equation one box. In order to drop equation one into the main circuit, I'll simply click it. And then on the main circuit, you'll see there is an equation one. I can now put it in place. And now from the main circuit, if I have A, B naught, C naught, the output goes true, but say A, B, C, the output goes true, A, B naught, C, the output is false. Next, you need to add a sub-circuit and create another Boolean equation and, and create a sub-circuit for that equation. To add a sub-circuit, we'll go to Project, Add Circuit. We'll name this sub-circuit Equation 2. And notice that Logisim Evolution automatically opens up Equation 2. I'm going to write that equation in just like it was on Equation 1. And this is A naught, B naught, C, D naught, or A naught, B, C, D, or A, B naught, C, D naught, or A, B, C, D naught. So this is the Boolean equation we're going to work with. Doing some analysis, I see there are four inputs, A, B, C, D. So I'll need four input ports. I see that we have four groups of, of uh, inputs anded together. So I'll need four AND gates. Each of those four AND gates also need four inputs. So I have a four input AND gate. Finally, because all four of these AND gates are ORed together, I'll need a four input OR gate. So the circuit will look similar to equation one, except the AND gates will have four inputs instead of three. There will be four of them all together, and the OR gate will have a four input OR gate. Then you can go back to the main circuit, create another uh, grouping something like this, but with four inputs, you can drop in equation two, some kind of an output, and test it out. That's about it for this lab. Good luck with it. As always, please do not get frustrated. If things get dicey for you, stop, contact me, and I'll be glad to help. I'll be seeing you online.